Hey there, YouTube. Sammy here. I uh, wanted to do a quick video for Gravy Dog One, I believe his username is. He left a comment on my toolbox video uh, asking about my socket rails. Wanted to know what kind they were, where to get them, or something like that. Anyway, uh, to answer your question, these ones are a homemade concoction. Uh, the rails themselves are screwed down to some oak slats, and these handles here are nothing but uh, some three dollar drawer poles from the home the Home Depot. Um, these things I, probably cost me you know five, six, maybe seven dollars a piece to make them. I decided to do this because, uh, like the uh, socket rails you get at Sears or whatever. Um, I think they come in a two pack. They're basically like this here, only they have a, a a handle extension off the back with a little rubber grip and it's like red or blue or whatever and you can get different colors but uh, they're they're really expensive they're like eight or nine bucks a piece or for two of them I don't remember but uh, I was I was pretty unimpressed with the uh, with how much money they were asking for them and I knew I was gonna need a lot of them because as you can clearly tell <clears throat> I made a lot of these things 23 of them in all I believe two, four, six, eight, ten, yeah 23 of them I wound up making. I don't remember how many feet of uh, how many board feet of lumber I used, but this is just uh, it's like one half by three quarter, uh, rough rough ass uh, measurement. Uh, for those of you carpenters out there, I'm sure you're going, no, it's not the size of that wood. Well, I'm not a carpenter, I'm a welder, and I think the way they measure wood is really really stupid because a two by four is not a two by four. But I digress. Anyway, so um, yeah, these uh, these rails they're just a, a cheap 99 cent rail from. Uh, from Harbor Freight, uh, screwed down to an oak slat. I took and ran over all the corners and all the surfaces of these with a um, orbiting sander, uh, make it nice and smooth, and then the drawer pole, just you know, popped a couple holes in the back, drove the screws in. Some of them I countersunk, some of them I just bore sunk, so that I wouldn't have to uh, have to go and get countersunk screws to work with these drawer poles. You know, I figure I bore sink or and or countersink them. I know I've got some. There's some. There's some ones I countersunk. I think that's probably one of the first ones I did, and I finally just said, ah, heck, the heck with it. And just bore sank them. But I didn't want to have to buy countersunk screws to work with those. But the, the neat thing about these uh, these socket rails from Harbor Freight, as you can see on this rail here, I've got, uh, these are all my Torx bits, external and male, or male and female, I suppose I can say. So these ones down here, they're quarter inch drive. And this one here. 3 8 drive, and these guys are a half inch drive. So that's that's kind of nice about these is you can you can mix and mix and match drive sizes on them, you move them around as much as you want, and you know obviously organize your your sockets however you want. On this rail, I've got uh, most of my hex hex bits. These are all 3 8 and half inch drive hex bits, uh, standard and metric. Um, on this one here, I have my quarter inch uh, hex bits. These are all standard. Um, I don't have any quarter inch uh, uh, metric hex bits, and then you know screw bits, whatever. Um, but you know you get the idea. You can you can mix and match them on there however you like. It's pretty darn convenient. So th this was the solution that I found worked best for me for my toolbox. Um, I just I wasn't impressed with anything that uh, that was on the market as far as socket rails went. I didn't find anything that that seemed like it was you know going to stand up in the, in the drawer well enough. Of course, these things are pretty sturdy because they're all next to each other. But that's you know, that's part of the way I designed them. I, I wanted to be able to you know toss them around a little bit and not have my tools just up and disorganize on me. So I, I hope that opens your your question there, Mr. Gravy Dog. Uh, thanks for your comment. Thanks for watching. And to all y'all new to the channel, I do hope you subscribe and hang around for more of my oh so exciting videos. Maybe you can even watch me blabber about this thing here, which is near done. It's just too heavy. I have to get a trailer axle and electric brakes for it because it doesn't like to stop unloaded. <laughs> God bless you. Have a nice day.